Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be doing the AP Calculus 2004 free response question, and we're going to start with number one in this video. So traffic flow is defined as the rate at which cars pass through an intersection measured in cars per minute. The traffic flow at a particular intersection is modeled by the function f defined by this, where f of t is measuring cars per minute and t is measuring minutes. The nearest whole number, how many cars pass through the intersection over a 30 minute period? Well, if this is the rate, then the, the total number of cars that pass through the intersection is over through this time, uh, f of t dt. And uh, yeah. OK, so um, we're going to, well, we don't, I'll show you on the calculator. This one you actually don't need. Uh, to use a calculator because you can technically integrate this one by hand but I think it's good to know how to um, you know compute the integral function integral I, I, I type in the function first that's 82 plus 4 sine x divided by 2 we're going to integrate over x and we're going to integrate from 0 to 30 And it's going to be 2,474 cars. Okay. Um, B is the traffic flow increasing or decreasing? Um, well, traffic flow, the traffic flow. Okay. Um, so tra F is the traffic flow. So we, to know if traffic flow is increasing or decreasing, I need to know the derivative at t equals 7. Okay, and now you could either compute the derivative by hand, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I mean, it's not too hard to do. Um, F prime of t, the derivative of 82 is 0. The derivative of this is 4 cosine t over 2. But by chain rule, I'm going to multiply this by 1 half. That's equal to 2 cosine t over 2. And so when I plug in F prime of 7 here, I get 2 cosine of 7 over 2. And that would be 2 cosine 7 divided by 2, or 3.5. And then that's equal to negative 1.87, which is less than 0, so it's decreasing. Because the derivative is negative. Now, you can use your calculator to compute the derivative in case you don't want to trust yourself. Um, I, I We'll try it. I haven't used this one before, so... Um, but it would be useful for you to know. I think you do x divided by 2. Um, and do I feed it anything else? What else do I feed it? Derivative with respect to x. Oh, and I need to plug in a value. Nope, that's not right. Let's take a look at... Um, second let's take a look at oops sorry uh let's take a look at what am i doing why are you losing focus um i need to look at the end derivative command just to be sure i know how to use that thing uh end derivative the function the variable and the value that's what I did. The function, the variable. So I plug in the function. I plug in, oh, there's a t parameter. What is this? I trust my thing. I'm just trying to see if I can get the calculator portion of it. 82 plus 4 sine x over 2. Uh, yep. I'm in radians. That's not an issue. Hmm. 
wonder why I got a different answer when I did that. It's really, it's really bizarre. Anyway, it's decreasing. It's negative. Uh, I can't figure out. Actually, um, well, that's fine. Let's continue on, and uh, I'll come back to that part and see if I can figure out uh, why the calculator portion isn't working. Uh, what is the average value of the traffic flow over the time interval? Okay, the average traffic, the average value. So we want the average of f of t. It means we want to integrate from 10 to 15 of f of t dt. And we want to divide it by the width of the interval, which is 10 minus 5. Okay, this is how you do the average value. And uh, so we do math. We do number 9. So we do the integral. That's 32 plus 4 sine x divided by 2. Yep. Integrate over x. Integrate uh, from 10 to 15. And then divide that by 5 which is the width of the interval, and that's 81.9 cars per minute. Okay, Because it's a rate still. Because the, uh, the average value of f is still in cars per minute. What is the average rate of change over the traffic flow over the time interval there? Indicate. So the average rate of, rate of change is always a slope. Okay. Um, uh, because it's not instantaneous uh, rate of change, it's an average rate of change. I simply plug in f of f I, I use a secant line slope divided by 15 minus 10. So f of 15 would be 82 plus 4 sine 15 over 2 minus 82 plus 4 sine 10 over 2 all over 5. The 82s are going to cancel, so I just need to do the the, the 4 sine. Um, clear. 4 sine, uh, 15 divided by 2, minus 4 sine, 10 over 2, which is 5. Divide that by 5. And this is the average rate of change of f, which is 1.518, and that would be cars per minute squared because it's the rate of change of a rate of change. Okay, let's take a look at the solutions and see if uh, how it compares. Um, 2474 cars, negative 1.873. It's negative, so the traffic flow is decreasing, so my hand derivative was correct. 81.899, I did 0.9, and then 1.517 cars per minute squared. So, wait, 518, yeah. Uh, so everything is good on that. Um, I'm just, I'm just kind of puzzled by the end derivative. I seem to be doing something wrong. 82 plus 4 sine. It's going to kind of bother me a little bit. Uh, divided by 2. Take the derivative with respect to x, and I want to plug in 7. Oh, I don't want to plug in 7 over 2. I want to plug in 7. That's why I kept messing up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, I'm, I'm doing the derivative at t equals seven. So yeah, there you go. That that's why I'm, I was messing up the calculator. Anyway, uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.